Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with another episode. We're going to talk about Gabriel Magales, his fiance, more stuff coming. And finally, we're going to zero in why Arsenal are not getting in uh, for Dominic Calvert Lewin. No, sir, no Dominic Calvert Lewin is where Arsenal are looking at. They're looking at some new, te new uh, team players uh, or certain players that they have been scouting heavily recently because they want what they want is a perfect striker. We're going to talk about that, a report from Matt Turner as to he has sustained an injury. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about Fabian Ruiz. We're going to talk about a lot of, lot of targets. So Anthony to Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to talk about that as well. You saw the thumbnail. You know what's coming. You know what's coming from my side as well. So let's just talk about it. So Gabriel Magalhães' fiancé uh, posted this on Instagram. Uh, stories that uh, some Arsenal fans gifted a small size baby shoes uh, a size 6 of Nike so she says that love Arsenal fans so that's that's what that's what this is all about Arsenal fans are second to none ladies and gentlemen so <clears throat> also good news for Gabrielle that club sources uh, James Benge says that have indicated to CBS Sports that a new contract is being considered for Gabriel Magales to reward two impressive seasons though there is plenty to be getting on with before turning to the future of a player whose terms do not expire until 2025 but Arsenal are considering to give a new contract for Gabriel Magales let me know in the comments does Gabriel Magales deserve a new contract should we wait for this season to end or probably another season or probably give him a new contract in the new season or during in the middle of the next uh, uh, you know season let me know what you guys think about it. Does Gabriel Magalhaes deserve a new contract? I will be wanting to know more. Moving on, Arsenal want a striker. This is a report from James Benge that Arsenal want a striker with extensive experience at the highest level and fits with the age profile of the current squad. Though they took several calculated risks in their signings last summer, they were ac acutely aware there will be less room to gamble on potential. Well, Jonathan David, Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Alex Ishak are three strikers in whom Arsenal have long held an interest. Meanwhile, sources have told CBS Sports that they have also been undertaking extensive scouting of Victor Rosman and Lautaro Martinez. But here's a report about Victor Rosman that Arsenal fans would love that reported Arsenal well, there's a problem. Napoli are furious with Victor Rosman after he failed to return from international break. Of course, Arsenal are linked with him, but yes, he failed to return to uh, the club again. So yes, that's the problem. So a new striker is said to be a new priority for Arsenal. Now, Osimhen, after failing to show maturity and return from international break on time, is another story. While La Gazeta claims Napoli are furious with the forward. Yes, what will they do? I don't know, but yes, that's the report that we have on our hand. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Victor Osman and Napoli have a fight going on. So let's see how they will deal with that. So let's talk about another report from James Benge. CBS Sports say that according to training ground sources, Thomas Partey began undertaking additional sessions of his own accord in December, working to strengthen muscles that had broken down all too often in his first season at the club. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Partey did, did extra on the pitch off the pitch so that he could do more on the pitch and we saw where what he's doing and that's benefiting him isn't it so let's talk about Alex Lacazette Emmanuel Petit says that I think Arsenal should propose a new contract to Lacazette because I think he's a very good teammate with proper qualities up front but he's not a great finisher I think he's very helpful for his teammates in terms of fluidity relationship up front yes true true just for that maybe some a couple of years I don't know if Lacazette is looking for that kind of a deal also depends on him as well so Mikel Arteta spoke about uh, Gerard's comments on Saka being protected by the referees more Arteta says Bukayo said he was not going to complain but he wanted some consistency in the refereeing the only person who can protect the players is the referee I think we have to protect our best players and that's in the hands of the referee that's kind of cool that's really kind of cool but Let's talk about more stuff. There's an update from Matt Turner. You remember this guy, Arsenal signed him, uh, you know, to replace Bern Leno if he leaves. So Matt Turner has a message. He says, I always try to be candid and, candid and uh, honest with the media, as you all know. 
and I hate having to even do this. I gave an interview yesterday and my words have been pulled around to fit certain narratives. So I'd like to set the record straight. The USMNT game in Minnesota has nothing to do with what's kept me off the field these last few weeks. I had a brief uh, bout of tendonitis after that game in my left foot that was quickly resolved and back to 100%. After that, I resumed preseason with the revolution and training before playing in the final friendly of preseason. Early on in that game, a reckless, unnecessary preseason sliding challenge came in which left me a hairline fracture in my right foot. Two different injuries on two different feet, completely unrelated. My rehab is going well. I am hopeful I will be clear to return to training again very soon. And I can put this chapter behind me and get back to doing what I love every single day. So he did not skip it. Bro, he was injured. So get your facts straight is what he wants to say in a very polite manner. So guess who's back at training? Bukai Saka is back in training, ladies and gentlemen, after being... Of course, you know, positive for the virus, but more importantly, Aaron Ramsdale is back. We do not have any update about Tomiyasu yet, but yes, Aaron Ramsdale is back to training. And yes, he's training ahead of Arsenal's next game against Crystal Palace. Don't get me wrong, it's a very tough game. Last time around, you know what happened. Sambi Lokonga. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, so it was a very fun, very difficult game for us. So let's see. How Arsenal fare now. So Arsenal, this uh, the boy, the pitcher, his name is Kion Edwards. So Arsenal are hopeful that he signs a professional contract with the club. Leipzig Berlin, Hertha Berlin and Feyenoord have all been linked. And so he's been expected to sign a new deal. Let's see if he does or not. Miguel Arteta speaks of Cedric Soares. He says when he needed to talk, talk on the pitch. Don't talk on the microphone because here is very easy to talk. So yes, ladies and gentlemen. So... It's kind of cool, but let's talk about William Saliba. Saliba finally says, Arsenal are often in contact with my agent and send me messages. They watch my matches. They tell me to continue like this. Arteta made his choices. That's life. I left on loan, played more matches, and thanks to my performances, I became an international. I'm sure I, ju I can't just be on the bench at Arsenal and be happy. I want to play as a starter. Afterwards, if I enter into the rotation as a substitute, it's not like staying with under-23s and never being in the squad. So what Saliba wants is either a rotational player. That's how you play FIFA, bro. Saliba is only going to extend if he's not going to be either a rotational player. He wants to establish himself as a starter. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, Saliba has made his mark and he's made his point. And I think it's a well-made point. That's him and the club to decide. But moving on, let's talk about Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte says Arsenal and Tottenham need a miracle to finish above Manchester United. He says... We are not the only team that wants to try to do this miracle. There's also Arsenal that in this moment have, has an advantage and then there is United. And this season, it depends on United. I think I think United folded, to be real with you. But let's talk about Kieran Tierney, ladies and gentlemen. So, Tierney has opened up about the Real Madrid news. He finally gives an update about what he thinks. He thinks, he says, I think the vision of the club and where it wants to go, the expectations of the club is where I want to be in football at the top. So... Tierney is not going anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, and he has made things clear. He's going to stay at Arsenal. Yes, that's what we want to hear as well. That's really cool. Moving on, let's talk about Fabian Ruiz. So it looks like Real Madrid believe they've landed him already. Yes, according to Calcio Mercato, Real Madrid believe that they have beaten Arsenal to sign Fabian Ruiz, but are still yet to reach an agreement with Napoli for the midfielder's summer transfer. Okay, all right. Lovely. Let's see if that's going to be happening or not. Moving on. So, Bernd Leno is not interested in joining Newcastle United. Now, according to a report from Daily Star, Newcastle have been rebuffed by Bern Leno in their efforts to sign Arsenal goalkeeper. The German international has no desire to join the newly minted Premier League outfit and has set his sights on a potential return to the Bundesliga next season. He wants to go to the Bundesliga. It's as simple as that. Who's going to sign him? Only time will tell. But let's talk about short but crisp news coming up your way right now. So Ian Wright hints at Calvin Phillips and Rafinha moves. He says, uh, speaking on the Kelly and Wrighty show, Phillips doesn't strike me as a player who wants to play for Leeds. He wants to win things. Leeds need to start putting things uh, in, in place uh, where they are challenging for Europe. So the likes of Rafinha to stay. But I think Rafinha will leave this summer. So let's see what he thinks, how things will uh, move on from here but let's talk about more stuff as we speak about Rafinha is done 
Let's talk about Calvert-Lewin as we already spoke about how Arsenal have stopped thinking about Dominic Calvert-Lewin and he's not a player that Arsenal are looking at at the moment but he's a player that Arsenal are looking to be Leno's successor and it's NATO. Arsenal are again reportedly interested in Barcelona keeper NATO. Let's see, that's according to Fischer Jairs. But let's talk about the news of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Arsenal are reportedly eyeing a move for Anthony should Bukayo Saka not sign a new deal at the Emirates club. That's according to Fischer Jairs, who claimed that Paris Saint-Germain and Manchester United are also both interested in the Brazilian. It is suggested that he will cost around £29 million if Saka does not sign a new deal. Arsenal looking for, you know who? It's Anthony. Let me know, would you guys want Arsenal to sign Anthony if Saka leaves or doesn't sign a new deal? Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe.